Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of Hidogato Sky Party Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, don't remember what this episode is going to be about. Oh. See, I feel like, okay, not only is this a nightmare, this is a premonition. Oh. Oh, baby. It's a warning, honey. So, yeah, um, just like with the other three, I would have watched this Saturday night, but um, when I came home from work, I was tired. I wanted to do everything, but like I said, tired. And then um, today, because it's still Sunday for me. Um, got off of work at 3. Chilled until like 5. Coming into 5. Started. Finished two shows. About. I was all ready to watch this next. And then my mom's like, oh, we're going to go to the store. And I'm looking at her like, really? <laughs> Come on now. Um, ate dinner with her. Caught up. Well, she caught up. With the last two episodes before today's episode of The Last of Us. So we just finished that. And I was like, I was starting to get sleepy. But I was like, I need to get this done so this has come out tomorrow with, the, you know, both all of Saturday stuff and Sunday stuff. So thank God I have, like, a little bit of ounce of energy left for, like, a good hour and 30 minutes. So here is hoping my video is not long for today. Good thing I'm off next Saturday. Good thing I ain't see anything on Twitter. I've been avoiding Twitter like the plague, even though I've been on Twitter a couple times. Oh, we have the definition of the pretty cure. Oh, those are those things. What Elle's gonna look like when she's older, kind of? Aww. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, two out of the four.
Oh, you ready to go on like the morning runs again? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. She might not be able to do it until maybe about episode 15, 20, babe. Wait, but Sora, you can't get angry at her. Well, yeah, I mean, and now you have, like, two more left, and then, you know, the third that'll come, like, before my birthday. The hell? Excuse me! Damn. So, of course, just like typically any other, you know, step up mini villain, he's only probably going to last at least like what a good 15 episodes before we get our new guy, our girl. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. She's afraid of you getting hurt because, you know, you're her friend. Sora. It's too dangerous. I mean, guys. I mean, also, this is the first time when a pretty cure tells the other pretty cure, you should not transform anymore. No. It's usually the mascot. Oh, my God. Sora, you can't do everything by yourself. Now we all know that ain't sound good, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I gotta say this, like, super bad. Okay, in this moment right now, Sora is acting very similar to, um, Kira Twinkle, aka Kirarin. No, Kilala, Kilala from Go Princess. Between the situation of after she transformed, we had our initial three, and then she's like, this ain't my thing. But she's doing it to protect Mash uh, Mashiro. And I get that, but at the same time, you have a duo. You're together. You work better together. And then, of course, what happened in the next episode of Go Princess Pretty Here? Baby came back. She was like, yeah, I want to be a cure. She had to prove herself to both um, Puff and Arima. I think that's what his name The bird. Again, and also herself that she could do it. Heck, Homade from Hakuto had to do the same thing when she got scared. So damn it, Sora, I love you, baby. But trust your girl friend. That's all. Trust your waffle. Please. Trust your girlfriend and Kaguya-sama. God dang it. Oh, that's a lie. We all knew that wasn't going to work. know what I felt like what was missing I don't know because when you look at skies and then well initially comparing it skies has more pizzazz and do not get offended about prison like to me it just feels very basic like they wanted to play they wanted to be safe on hers and that's okay it still is good but I was expecting more of it last week. Like, yes, fangirl over the bunny, the, the bunny thing, because her voice actress, Robin, human good, but still, I'm like, it's okay. But I'm ready to see the other two now. I know somebody gonna get mad at me at calling it basic. <laughs> I don't think it's my least favorite transformation because I do have least favorites. Um, but it wouldn't be in my top like ten faves.
I mean... That, that's a little, that's female Deku. Female Deku! <laughs> It's the same feels you got with freaking Cure White and Cure Black. Jesus. I mean, Prism is right, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. This isn't solving the problem, though. Girlfriend, girlfriend, the world is girlfriend.
That's so cute. My God. <laughs> Are we also really surprised that it is white? I mean, it, it's obvious, cause it, like, it's for her signature color. I think, you know, for the last couple of weeks, everybody was trying to figure that out. But to me, it just made sense. Because there's not really a lot of white cures. Because there's like only what? Five, six? They're, they are like the... Mm, I think second smallest bunch. I had to go back on Twitter and look at that picture. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Next week, next week's Ali. You can't. I'm not ready. Oh, that's gonna hurt next week. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, I'm crying. This damn show. I love it so much. Oh my god. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt these next couple of weeks <laughs> seeing some of these girls like oh my god I cannot imagine like when we get to um whip I felt like when we get to cure whip I'm gonna be a mess when we get to flora be a mess when we get to the rest of them mess <laughs> big old mess but Oh, okay. Just seeing baby. Oh my god. Because it's still, it just feels like just yesterday we finished Tropical Rouge. But still, it just feels... It feels like that shit just ended. Even though it didn't. It was just like two years ago. Is she finally going to school? That's just gonna be, I wanna be with you. Every day, all day, 24 seven, want to be around you. So eventually, yeah, Sora is gonna go to school. We, I mean, I think we all knew that was gonna come. I mean, once again, going back into Tropical Rouge, especially when Laura wanted to be, slowly but surely when she finally got her legs and such, um, and then eventually became the final cure of the show. We knew, number one, she was gonna go to school. It's typical with the final cures, when they spend so much time with the girls and connect with the girls, they do want to be around them 24-7. Except when it comes towards Umi um, from Healing Good, because Umi ain't go to school. Chiyu, um, Nadoka, and Cure Sparkle. I just don't remember her name. Surface with an H. Hikari, I believe. Um, they all went to school together, of course. And they all had 
moments to spend time with Umi and such. But I feel like the, the best relationship Umi had or the best connection was a little bit between Nadoka and Chiyu. Maybe. I don't know. But, I mean, yeah. Then you gotta look at Kira Kira. Um, eventually, CL went to school as well. Even though, like, at first, <laughs> she was a regular girl and then she turns into a fairy. Um, Toa, a.k.a. Kira... Fuck. Hold up. I know this one. I surely do. Fuck. We're gonna look it up, though. <laughs> Prin and a princess. Princess. Scarlet. Scarlet. And I didn't even finish looking it up, but bam. That just came to me. She eventually went to school as well and such. So it, it's bound to always happen, except we're getting it with the one who is, you know, of course... Not from Earth. And, of course, she wants to be around her girlfriend 24-7. I love that. This literally, just this episode as a whole, gave so much to Futariwa. And, I mean, how, you use the damn name of the show in the first fucking, I, I mean, the first fucking episode. In this episode, at the end credit. And it just, once again, pays so much homage and stuff. And the fact that you have both a duo that is very somewhat similar to Nagisa and Honoka, which you can tell Honoka is obviously, you know, Prism, and then Nagisa is, of course, Sky. And seeing these two having their first little official argument does give you feels towards that. Because, yes, they were always like this, but there's always moments where, yeah, you're going to have an argument with someone who you consider your best friend, slash girlfriend and stuff and that's the typical norm that is going to happen to someone one minute you're okay next minute you're gonna argue about something stupid and then you're gonna for forgive each other and then you're gonna move on that's just the circle of friendship <laughs> that's a weird way to say it though but i mean yeah honestly this was a really sweet episode even though yes her little premonition was scaring the crap out of her kind of definitely gave feels to sailor moon especially um with the one episode where, like, Mamoru was just like, oh my god, Usagi, get the F away from me. If you, if we're somewhat together, <laughs> everybody gonna die. <laughs> and Mamoru was like, nope, mm -mm, we, we can't be together. I don't need you to die because of me. I don't want your blood on my hands. Da 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 and such. But, okay, let's go ahead and talk about the other things. So, officially over the weekend, kind of maybe, like, Wednesday... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I believe. Of course, they announced the movie, um, All Stars F. So, in my opinion, um, I feel like this is going to be the movie where everyone, and I truly mean everyone, also Cure Echo, because it's been a very long time since Cure Echo has also been in a movie as well. The last movie that she was in was the all-star movie for Maho Girls. And that was a hot minute ago, about like five, six years ago. So it, it's, I would like to see everyone pop up, but then at the same time, you gotta be like a little bit of realistic. And I think this is also why um, Toei decided to do what they did after Maho Girls when we got into, um, Oh, shit, what the fuck? Hagato? I think, yeah, Hagato. They decided to do, okay, we're only going to do the previous three, or the current three. So the new and then three, two previous and stuff. Which, no, 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 Maho, no, it was Kira Kira. Um, and sometimes you were, I, w I was, I was skeptical. I still am skeptical about it because it always sucks, especially when you are attached to a group. And then, you know, eventually in about like three seasons, they're going to disappear and we're going to move on to the next three set of three and da, da da and so on and so forth. But my biggest issue is, and this is the same thing I had towards Star Twinkle and the situation of Star Twinkle. Remember how it was like the 12 Zodiac keys and each Zodiac member had a voice and it could have been 
hot like I think they had like really high paying seiyus um specifically voice each zodiac key for each episode whenever they got the new key so now look at every single seiyu who has been in freaking pretty here in the nutshell so that's a lot of people <laughs> you what we can say all the way from nagisa seiyu all the way to little miss kaguya sama love is war baby miss komi-san because even though she ain't she's it's not confirmed yet but it is kind of confirmed that she's the last one for now until we get into the next season um that's now over 70 something going on 80 cures in one movie that one that's gonna break records we all know that's gonna break records but the fact is you got to think about how much money they have to pay some of these things just to either one transformation scene voice acting um if they're saying like one little line and such like i could say okay let's say let's use the cast of futa no, nope not futa do I. yes uh yes ready for five go go even though they were featured in he he yeah healing good um those girls have not played those characters in long ass time so i think they had to give them big freaking bucks for that same thing for um heart catch with a uh, tropical rouge and then with delicious delicious related delicious had just the last few seasons so they didn't really have anyone new and that was the biggest thing that like everybody was wondering so i think because of that that's why they were like okay when we get to the 20th anniversary aka this show that's when we're going to have every single cure come back once again so you know get ready here nana mizuki awi yuki um freaking annie from attack on titan mikasa from attack on titan Adamine from Attack on Titan, um, Miss uh, Fujiko Mine, or um, because <laughs> there's so many, um, of course, my Jojo, my Jolene, um, my Bunny Girl Senpai, my Kirby, freaking Kirby from Blade Back Camp. So, I mean, if this is truly happening, like, just there's this is gonna break a lot of people. For people who have watched it from the beginning up until now and people who have eventually like caught up and decided to watch the show as the years have gone by this is gonna make a lot of people cry like happy tears so many happy tears if every single care is in one movie and i am hoping that happens they what they did for the trailer is they show like all different scenes from every single you know one pretty cure episode per season and such um so it kind of gives the initiative that everyone is gonna show up so fingers crossed <laughs> i mean and it says pretty cure all stars so hopefully it happens i would like to see it happen i mean it's the 20th fucking anniversary you can do it please that's all i want let me see all my babies on screen together you did it with freaking, um, with Hagato, and they all went against fucking Mamaru. Like Hagami. <laughs> Which was hilarious. So, you know, hey, why don't you have them go against, uh, I can't say Kazuma from <laughs> Kata Super, because he plays a hamster in the Pretty Care series. So, um, if I could say one, and... and I think if you already know me, you, you already know who this is. Let's do Kirito. <laughs> We're sorry on our lives. Let him be a bad guy. <laughs> Pretty Cares fighting Kirito. I think that would be the best thing ever. Or they could do what they did in the one, one all-star movie where the biggest villains of their seasons came back. And that could be a lot. Like, there's so many things that they could do. But yeah, this is a good episode. Loved it. Very excited for next week. I have nothing else to say. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode five of Hiragana Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode six. Bye, guys.